Good morning, guys. It's a little dark in here right now. The lighting is not great, but um, I just made myself a little iced coffee. And Rob and I basically woke up and just kind of like cleaned up the house a little bit because it was just in shambles from everything going on. Um, so we just kind of like cleaned up the rooms that we were able to, like the bathroom, our bedroom, TV room, hallway. And uh, right now we have the pipes fixed and they put like the initial, the initial like taping over with the drywall but they have to come back and kind of like smooth it all out before they are able to paint. So I think we're just gonna stick to the color that our kitchen is, which is Grant Beige by Benjamin Moore. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't think of that, but yeah, our kitchen is like um, definitely not a white or an off-white, it's like a true beige. And I don't want to change the color of it. I think it's like a nice color. I would maybe go lighter, but I don't wanna make it complicated and have them have to paint all the walls which technically would be the proper thing to do just because obviously like a new coat of paint on this whole wall is going to look very different than the ones that have been painted for the last five years but four years but um yeah I just don't want to deal with like taking everything off the walls and all that it's just going to make the process so much longer so I think we're going to stick to Grant Beige just have them do this whole wall, redo the moldings, and uh, really, really praying and hoping that this is done before Christmas. Like, that's really my my goal and, like, what I'm manifesting right now. But we are going to get out of the house today. We're going to New Jersey to meet my brother because we're going to go see the new Avatar movie. Um, Rob and my brother are, like, super into those types of movies, and I'm kind of just coming along for the ride. But I know it's going to be good, so... I'm kind of excited to see it. But this is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing this Ghani t-shirt and then these um, joggers are by Free People. I got them on Revolve. I don't think that they're still on there, but I know there's very similar styles on the Free People website right now. So I will link some down below. And then this shirt, I don't know if it's, I think it's from Farfetch. But anyway, there's a bunch of sales going on on Farfetch, Scents, Net-A-Porte, um, Forward. So if you're like looking for a little bit nicer t-shirt or sweatshirt or sweater or you need a new pair of like designer jeans, um, now is the time to scoop them up because I'm sure come January, like prices are going to go back up. So, yeah, I'm going to get ready. Finish my coffee, walk Kaya, who's <laughs> always literally right next to me. I'm gonna walk her, feed her, and then we're gonna head out to the movie theater. We also have some errands to run today because Kaya needs food. I need to do a return to Zara, and uh, we need to pick up some stuff from like Target that we forgot to pick up last time. So that's on the to-do list today is the grocery target and Zara so hopefully we'll be able to hit those three stores either before we go to the movies or when the movie gets out we I think there's a target right next to actually the movie theater that we're going to so that would be like kind of perfect honestly all right we'll see you in the car Yes, can I please have one Crunchwrap Supreme uh, Seasoned Beef and one Crunchwrap Supreme Black Bean? After having 100 plus in the win over Cleveland last week. Jason Higgins goes out to the left. Double tight ends in for Cincinnati. One on each side of the line in three-point stances. All right, so it's been a few days since we went to the movies and now we are trying to put our house back together because they came and patched up the wall today and they still need to put the cabinets back up. 
and they need to put the molding in on the other side so that's what that big piece of wood is um the molding here we never ripped out i don't even know do we need to rip that molding out on this side no it's fine because we when i pulled it over there i didn't see any microbial growth or anything all right anyway so yeah this side of our kitchen is like a nightmare because our table obviously has to go back the molding has to go back so there's that but we're just trying to kind of put some stuff away because this is <laughs> what this looks like so i think we're gonna actually wrap gifts <laughs> it's about time we're supposed to do it every day for the past couple days literally kaya's hiding behind, behind clothes. rob's clothes that he's supposed to put away i'm putting them away right now well, you look like you're putting them away. No, I did only the bathroom. I am so not excited about this. I don't want to do it. Are we going to do this at our kitchen table? You can't. Do you want to... Let me touch the... Uh... Wait, I have an idea. What if we move the mirror down behind those chairs where the door is and lean it up against the wall and then we can sit at the table? Uh Please. I'm not gonna lie, even though like I'm sad we didn't get a real tree, this is so much less maintenance. Like I've not had to vacuum this. And it looks super this, nice. And it looks super nice and I'm not worried about the oh, ornaments shit. like falling or anything. I didn't see that you know? <laughs> Bless you. Yeah. Don't you think so? <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. It looks, and it does look really nice. Problem. Don't they have to paint that though? Or are we just putting it like that? I mean, it's white. We could paint it. Every when they paint the ceiling, they just have to paint this too. That's why. This is the top. You're the top. This is. You're the top. You tell me that later. <laughs> okay. I just need to paint the dick. Mm -hmm. Let me just step on. Oh. Alright, you put yours on. Oh, no, no, no. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Wow, you really Robert, 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 I don't know what you want me to do. Fucking not break the fucking... You said, what is that? And I didn't look until you told me to look down yeah, and see what they... it is. What do you want me to do with it? You told me not to look at it. God. You're getting something like that, huh? All right. I know I'm getting a picture. Also, what, what is this? We need to paint all of them. I'm going to look stupid. There it is. I got to sand it. All right, one, two, three, upsy daisies. All right, put yours on first. Oops, line. Mine first? Yeah. All right, actually, you know what? Last time I just did it and then came over there, right? Yeah. It's not on. <laughs> don't, don't fucking leave me with this like that. I got it. Oh, you just dropped it on me. <laughs> You did drop it on me. <laughs> Sucks because I might have to bring it down a little bit lower, but it's okay. It's on there. Good to go. Look at this space we have now. All right, we get. You know what though? If we put the tree, like a tree here, that would be really good because once. We well, put the tree back in here. Next door, maybe. Alright, in progress. Our shit's getting back to normal. Slowly but surely.
It is for you. All right, I'm making it look nice. I'm having Rob wrap his own gift. It's in a box, so it's okay. Here's a note. Oh, it's torture. Why is she whining? She wants gifts. She's, pro she's probably hungry, honestly. You hungry? A little hot chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Chocolate. Now that I can access my cups again. Uh, Go lay down. Go lay down. You're being really not nice. Do you want to try it? No, thank you. Let's I bet I am. It's burnt my finger. It hurts too. Really bad. What do you want? You want a fat lip? I just fed you, so I know you're not hungry. Because I just fed you, I did. I did not explain what was happening tonight. <laughs> but we went to the ballet, the Nutcracker Ballet at Lincoln Center, and it was phenomenal. What do you think? It was very nice. I love the ballet. The orchestra, so the music is amazing. Bit, like, bias. Yeah, the music is amazing. Um, and it hurts me when I see them up on their tippy toes that whole time. Like <laughs> but they're it's so, outrageous. like, the kids even are so good. Like, it's amazing. And it's just like fun time. So we planned on going to the Smith after, but it was a little too far because it was raining and freezing. So we went to PJ Clark's. But it was not raining. It's only a four minute walk. So do that if you're at Lincoln yeah, Center. Yeah, if you're at Lincoln Center, go to the Smith because it's only a four minute walk. But PJ Clark's never disappoints. It's always, it's right across. It's right in the it's Empire. Easy peasy. And um, I don't eat burgers, but apparently they have really good burgers. And Rob, well, you got them. Were they good or no? It was good, very good. I like the, uh, I love blue cheese. Yeah, so I think it's bacon and blue cheese is what they normally do, yeah. right? And like On the potato. sliders, there's bacon, blue cheese, barbecue sauce, and like And I think potato onions. buns or something like that. On, I had like the fried onion on it, it was good. But the Brussels sprouts were pretty good, tuna which is what we had. We had the tuna tartare, also very good, and then we also had the arugula salad. Baby, you know, pear, baby arugula salad. Yeah, which was very Refreshing. Good. Um, if you're someone who likes seed salads like the end of your meal like that was a really good salad But I had Rob did not drink which I'm very proud of him. trying to make but it to the gym tomorrow morning Yeah, same. I'm just gonna go an hour later than you but Yeah, I ordered a dirty martini with Tito's and the woman our bartender loved us Loved us and basically gave me a free drink and I was like I'll have an espresso martini and my favorite part of the night when she was making fun of vegans to Catherine, not knowing that she's a vegetarian, making fun of people yeah. who don't eat meat, and I was like, this is classic. It was she, fine, though. She, like, but I she was mean, great. I'm used great. to it. My entire family basically. But she didn't know. It was the best part. She, yeah, she had no idea. We no, didn't tell her. Rule number one in public She speaking. honestly really didn't know think about like, anything we ordered because I think she thought we were splitting everything that we ordered, and Rob ordered three burgers, so like, 
I don't think she even three had Three sliders, any. not three, three burgers. Whatever. I, I didn't consume three burgers. <laughs> three sliders. <laughs> but um, yeah, New York City during this time of year is actually very pretty. It's kind of annoying just because there's so m <laughs> there's so many people from out of town here like staying all throughout the city during December. Anyway, so that's the clip you saw was us going to Lincoln Center. We saw the show and then I didn't take any clips in PJ Clark's because we sat at the bar because there was like such a long wait for tables due to the ballet since it's across the street everyone just goes there after and like grabs drinks and foods and appetizers and all that so we decided to sit at the bar which is great and uh, now we're just heading home because it's 10 40 so it's not that we did pretty good tonight it's not that late we should be home by like 11, 11 15, the latest. So it's 11 05 arrival. And yeah, and we're gonna, well, I'm gonna wash off my makeup. Rob is gonna take care of Kaya because I am not doing that when I get home. I'm gonna take my makeup off and get my pajamas and get cozy. But we are finishing off December and like the holiday season with a bang. Because our holiday season we should go see Shen Yun next. Started out hard. Okay, <laughs> real talk. If you are debating on seeing Shen Yun, my genuine opinion is don't do it. Rob thinks you should see it once, right? You should see it once. I thought it was. I slept through half of it. I thought it was horrible. I thought it was a waste of money. If you liked it, like no shade. All right, that this is just my personal opinion, but I would not pay to see Shen Yun, and they are advertising everywhere so i don't know if that's like their gimmick to get people like, i don't know but we're gonna head home and pick up this vlog tomorrow and then i'll show you guys the update on the kitchen because i spent the reason i didn't vlog today is because i spent pretty much the entire morning cleaning the kitchen from like 9 a.m to like 2 p.m and then got ready to come into the city Slowly but surely getting back to normal. Yeah, and right, I think they're right going to do the Christmas. molding tomorrow. Should be. Maybe. Yeah. See you in the morning. With Masterclass, you can learn from the world's best mind. All right. It is Friday morning. I'm heading to the gym. It's raining out. And I'm feeling a little rough. Um can't wait to watch the clip over from last night because I think I was a little tipsy when I was talking to you guys but it's fine um, but yeah I wanted to start my day off with like a little F45 workout so we're gonna go get in a quick workout and then I'm gonna run to our grocery store because Kaya ate one of our gingerbread houses when we were out last night got into it and now we only have one. We still have the village, so maybe like we'll do that and we'll each do like two houses. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Cause I kind of highly doubt that any of the grocery stores are gonna have any more gingerbread houses left, but who knows, maybe, maybe there will be. I know there's gonna be a lot of traffic today. A lot, a lot of traffic. So I'm trying to get things done early and that way I can just be home with Kaya and Rob later and enjoy the evening. So but I need to go, I need to park, get my butt inside so I will see you guys after my workout. All right, went to Stu Leonard's. I actually got a really good spot considering it's the Friday before Christmas. I actually don't want to do. And I got I some beautiful. Yes to please others. Um, how I was eating. And was sitting in Jay Shetty. I got some really beautiful flowers. I'm gonna put on my table. I'm super excited about them. And then I did get the gingerbread houses, and I also got a train too because I thought that was just super fun. So. I got some donut holes and some bread for um, breakfast. 
and snacks but quick little trip and I do have to run to East Chester to be honest because I have my dad's gift in the car and I think my mom wants to like wrap the things that are in it all separately and I do not have enough boxes for that and I do need to also go to UPS but I have to go home before that so we're doing pretty good though it's 10 45 and I've worked out I've let the contractors in and I've gotten to the grocery store, so that's good. Trying to navigate my way out of this parking lot, which is a little bit of a nightmare, so we're going to say a prayer. Just got some early dinner. I ordered this sweet green green goddess salad. And I always add tofu to my salads. But I thought I would show you guys what's actually happening in our house. So in Rob's closet is like a heating system for the entire house. So like the people were upstairs, it's behind that door right there. So they had to take everything out of his closet to put in a new heating system. Ask me how organized my boyfriend is. <gasps> so anyway, I told him that before we do any fun Christmas stuff like this had to get handled because this is freaking insane. Hi. Anyway, that's what he's doing. And I'm going to sit very patiently in our TV room and I'm gonna eat my salad. And I think I need to feed someone. Also, Kaya's wearing her Christmas bandana. You want to show them? It has a little red truck and some trees. And then she also has like this cute little collar with it too that we got at the Franklin Farmer's Market, didn't we? I know. You're just so cute. Everything has moved out of our bedroom and Rob's closet is back to normal. Sure. We were gonna do gingerbread houses, but I think we're just gonna like chill and like watch a Christmas movie. Wireman's so weird. Um, because it's literally like 13 degrees outside and it feels like negative three apparently. And where our kitchen table is, is like next to these two windows that have like a kind of a draft, so. We both like decided that we just want to be under the covers and we're going to save our gingerbread house date for tomorrow or Christmas. I'm not really sure which day we're going to do it, but I don't know what we're going to watch. Maybe White Christmas or It's a Wonderful Life. I'm like thinking something like classic. Look at this face. Why are you so cute? Aww. We're giving her her, her advent calendar. Mm -hmm. All right, what are we watching? It's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful or a white Christmas. George Bailey. Usually we watch this and Home Alone at the cabin. Yeah. I wasn't invited to the cabin for Christmas this year. You didn't want to come. I wasn't invited. You didn't want to come. I wasn't invited. Man trip. Mm. You're annoying. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Good morning. Uh, it's not my morning, it's one o'clock. But I'm making Kylie Jenner's lemon olive oil cake for Christmas tomorrow. And I'm also making the tomato soup recipe. So I have a bunch of tomatoes and 
onions and garlic and all that in the oven right now that's roasting. Rob is at the grocery store and he's picking up some stuff because he's going to make some red sauce for pasta and I think I'm going to make like a spaghetti squash pasta with um, mushrooms and I might chop up some like vegan meat to put in it. I haven't really decided yet. I have to kind of figure that out. And then we're also making some Brussels sprouts to bring as well because my mom asked if we could do the Brussels sprouts. I don't think she, she I think she said the groceries that she went to, like where she lives, like didn't have them. And Rob and I have like a really good market by our house. It's called the Green Organic Market. And um, they usually have really good vegetables, like fresh so he's there getting all that kind of stuff so, i thought i would just come on here say good morning tell you guys what what's up we're probably going to be cooking until we leave for dinner tonight we're going to sergio's for christmas eve dinner with rob's entire family it's like 100 people or something like that we do it every year it's like a 100 year old tradition maybe more so that is the plan basically just cooking and getting ready to go have a have a fun night with our family and enjoy the holiday <sighs> zesting lemons is like one of my least favorite things to do okay i'll show you guys everything once it's done okay. this is the Lemon loaf. So this is Kylie Jenner's olive oil lemon cake recipe. And that is gonna need some powdered sugar on top tomorrow. And then I'm making sweet potato casserole. I'm using this Food Network recipe that I'll link below. But um, I'm gonna try to make it dairy-free and use like a dairy-free milk and then I'll use eggs for that probably and then the best part about this whole day is we're back we have moldings the table's back to where it was supposed to be I put the decor back Kaya's little basket of toys and everything is back to normal I did get these roses yesterday they have like white lilies in them and um, baby's breath, but I think they're so pretty and so like Christmassy. I love it and Rob has his shit over here, but I think it's like four o'clock Yeah, it's four o'clock and technically we're supposed to be at the restaurant at 530 which We're probably gonna be like 15 minutes late to the restaurant realistically because I have to shower do my hair my makeup get ready Rob has to shower and we still need to feed and walk this nugget how cute my tree looks i'm so happy i feel like calm again like my kitchen just back to how it's supposed to be so that's the update i just have these sweet potatoes simmering because they do need to get soft before i can mash them up and put them in with like the milk and the eggs and the brown sugar and all that stuff so that is what i'm doing right now it's just waiting for those to get like a little bit soft and I think I might mix all that tonight, like the filling, put it in the dish that I'm gonna bake it in and then bake it tomorrow morning. So it's a little bit more fresh like when we get there. So that's my plan right now is to just mash everything together into a bowl, put the bowl in the fridge um, overnight and then bake it tomorrow. So anyway, I will show you guys what I wear tonight, my outfit, Rob's outfit. We're just going to Sergio's and uh i think it's in babe where is sergio's in harrison Fort Chester. Fort Chester. it's in Fort Chester. Stop it. but it's also it's like literally freezing outside so it's it feels like negative 12 is what the news said or what the weather channel said and i think it's something like eight degrees out right now and when i went to work this morning it was 
seven degrees out and it was so cold like it's insane how cold it got and yesterday morning it was like 58 degrees so i don't i don't really know what's going on but i am super excited for tonight and for new year's eve it's all of rob's family there's like 100 people who go and um it's usually just like a really good time so i'll try to take maybe like a video or some pictures at the very least to like insert to show you guys since it is a lot going on <laughs> but i need to go get ready this is what I'm wearing. It showed it as a dress on Farfetch, but I'm kind of thinking it's more of like a, what do they call that? Not a kimono. It all comes to me, but basically um, I have to like kind of tie it to keep it closed. And Rob just walked high. And then I'm also wearing these like knockoff um, YSL heels, they're from Mango, I'll link them down below, but I have to get going because we are late, so. It's Santa! Four calling birds! Oh my god, this is the best day of the year. 